don't fuck on the first date anymore. Did he just say anymore? Anymore. Anymore. Are you guys men? Yeah, I think so. I'm glad I am. Okay. Double standards that men have to live with. Let me know if y'all agree with these. They say as a man, you should always get a high paying job so that you can potentially take care of a family. But you should also make sure you have enough spare time to spend with your spouse so that they don't get lonely. If you're a father, you need to be there for and support your children. But don't try to guide them or structure them or especially discipline them in any way or you're abusive. You're expected to be masculine in order to be attractive. But you should also get in touch with your sensitive side. But not enough to cry because that makes you look weak. Women are allowed to hit you, but you should never hit them back. If you even want the chance of having a woman, be prepared to take her out to a fancy dinner and a fancy car and get her flowers and drinks and all of that. But don't expect or ask for anything in return because then you're pushy. Remember, you have to dote on the girl in every possible way. But in the end, it's her decision as to whether or not all of your time and energy was worth her giving you an And if she leaves you after a six year long relationship, remember, she's just doing what's best for her. But if you leave her after six years, you're a scumbag who obviously never cared. Make sure you're intelligent or women are gonna look down on you. But women are always right, so they're gonna look down on you anyway. Plus, if you're really smart, they're going to see you as arrogant. And be confident, because confidence is sexy, but don't be cocky. Sleep with too many women, and you're just a man whore who's afraid of commitment. But don't sleep with enough women, and you're less desirable because of your inexperience. Damn. Be Accept women at their best and their worst. But change every negative aspect of yourself in order to prove your love. You're a man, you should have all the answers. But if you have all the answers, you're a narcissist. Just kind of slap me with reality again. There was a little bit to unpack there. It's um, refreshing when you see a girl who understands the plight of being a guy. And she's holding the baby, so. Yeah, where would her husband at? He got a good gig there. Yeah. This comes on his business. Yeah, see. see. So moral of the story is stay single. As a woman, this is sad because it is true. Yup, wife divorced me after a 16 year marriage since I worked too much <laughs> to provide the family for everything and she didn't want to work. Damn, now you can't work too much. I mean, she bought up a, a lot of real hard hitting ones like the uh, the confidence and the cocky thing if you are a, a guy who isn't confident you are <clears throat> girls it's like female repellent if you're not confident i heard a girl recently that said that she had kept having a guy that has like a very nice physique abs everything just kept sending her shirtless pics and she was like oh i get it like it looks it's corny now it's weird it's mm -hmm. like dang he's got a, like a nice body you can't even send your pictures of yourself i guess she sent and pictures of her and he's like stop that and she went, oh, what the literally you imagine, asshole. imagine a girl keeps sending her pictures like i look good today what you think of the post gym workout I'm like yo stop sending me that yeah you can't because it comes across cocky or weird well the line between confidence and cocky as a man you there is a lot there's a huge balancing act of you have to be smart but you can't say too much because then you're a know-it-all and that's annoying you get be very confident and sure of yourself but if you're too much of that then you're cocky then you're stuck up and conceited but you have to make sure you have trips you can have fun and spend all this time with your girl but you still have to make sure you have enough money to pay for all those trips and make sure you have enough time to go out there and do that. What was another one that she said? If you sleep with too many girls, you're a man whore. If you don't sleep with enough, you're not experienced. You're not experienced. Mm. I hate that. Well, what do you want from me? Now there's another TikTok here. A black guy saying apparently double standards as well. You know what I find odd? How certain things in the world are only wrong when men do them. For example, if a 40-year-old woman likes men in their 20s, then she would be seen as a cougar, a MILF, she'd be seen as sexy, and it's praised. But if a 40-plus-year-old man likes women in their 20s, then she would be seen as a creep, a predator, and a groomer. <laughs> Mm. Women can body shame men all day, every day, from their hairline to their height to their weight, all the way down to their penis size. But if a man mentions a woman's body in any way, shape, or form that's not positive, specifically weight, the entire world is in an uproar. Mm. It's only wrong when a man does it. A woman can set boundaries in a relationship and say, I do not like this. I have a problem when you do this. If you do not stop doing this, it is going to be an issue with me. And she's praised for standing up for herself. But if a man were to set those same exact boundaries and say, I don't like this. I have a problem when you do this. If you keep doing this, it's going to be an issue for me. He's seen as controlling or insecure. Like he just said, girls can have any standard of he needs to be this tall, money, etc. All type of metrics. I remember I was in a dinner party one time and I said yeah I wouldn't let my girl be going out to clubs and stuff the entire party ganged up on me mm. and said that I was a controlling monster for not wanting my girl to go out to clubs and bars and talk with a bunch of guys wait a minute I'm not saying that she can do whatever she wants but I'm not gonna be there when she gets back would you go to the club with her if she really wanted to go no because I hate clubs a woman can spend all the amount of time she wants with her friends y'all can go on road trips together y'all can plan trips out the country together y'all get your hair done 
nails that everything did. And men don't say a word when you were with your friends. But let a man spend too much time with his friends that you're not comfortable with. And all of a sudden, y'all think he's emotionally attached to his friends and basically call him gay. You all can plan a trip and go outside the country for a week and have a great time. <laughs> Clearly, this is a specific story for me. Yeah. But if I'm at this house an hour longer than you think I should be. I know you're watching this, Jasmine. That last one might just be him. <laughs> that was very specific. Never you plan all your fucking trips and go on everything. But when I'm with my guy, when I'm with my guy friends, I get called gay and you try to tell me to. I hope she saw it, bro. What do the comments say? Can't argue with this. Well, I'm apologizing for the women who are not like this. We appreciate you, Kings. You were stating facts, but the last one is arguable. Y'all do be hating on our friends and we talk to our friends. There's one longer clip here of a girl who's doing a story time, which I think might encapsulate the whole thing. So I just got back from my day. This motherfucker's blocked. The place he took me to was beautiful. The vibe was just beautiful. Tea lights everywhere. He also took me to this art gallery, which was beautiful. Perfect the spot to take the girl. I was like, wow, this is an amazing day. Like, it comes to the point where he's dropping me off. So we get to my house. He's like, oh, so do you want to go inside or do you want to go in the car? And I'm like, oh, we can stay in the car, but I have to, like, you know, blow my nose because I have, like, allergies and shit. So I need a tissue. So he's like, taking his key out of the ignition to like come with me and i was like oh no like you know my dog she barks a lot <laughs> so i'm just gonna go and then i get back into the car we're just like you know talking whatever and i was like oh like i don't give it up the first date so if that's your intentions then i'm sorry and then his whole demeanor changed he just seemed so uninterested in what i was talking about and just like there looked so bored i was like you know what since your intentions was to get pussy and you ain't gonna get any i'm gonna get out of this car and i'm gonna go home he didn't say a single thing he wasn't trying to defend himself nothing he was just like okay i'll let you know when i get home i'm like babe you don't gotta let me know nothing because you're blocked oh the audacity i don't fuck on the first date anymore <laughs> you just say anymore anymore that was a fun little kicker there at the end just told on herself there just like, had me for a second like okay that's cool if you don't do that you don't do it. wait what <laughs> yeah <laughs> anymore apart from that her being a terrible t storyteller because that could have been told in 15 seconds and shout out to the dude for picking the place like we said in the other video i'd be going to mcdonald's so <laughs> that's cool you went to the, the woman empowerment place that's all great clearly was super trying to impress her so that he could get box doesn't she know that he's a heterosexual male and then he's attracted to her what does she think he's doing this for so that they could play board games that night sometimes it takes girls days weeks whatever to feel aroused in that type of way while he's not entitled to get in the box on the first night like he oh I just want to take these dates and just sit and talk and the fact that anymore oh he just oh man dang wouldn't you feel like you got scammed like right, if I saw the TikTok the next day like oh well, god damn I said well okay well that's not how I saw tonight going so <laughs> that's because all my friends hit in the first night and they said they just took you to McDonald's and she said he was perfect you kind of have to cut him a little slack here too right he didn't even say I demand of your yeah, I was like, but I'll, just, I'll let you know when I get home. Side note, it's really annoying that this is the generation where you could go on a date and then after they make a TikTok about you. Like, holy shit. He literally was just trying to go home. You gotta watch how, who you go on a date with now. Holy see if shit. they have a TikTok account. Well, yeah, how would you feel if you had to pay $1,000 for something that somebody else got for free? You would feel a bit jit. The guy's the ba a bad guy for saying, oh, okay, my intention was to do this after. Do this with you. Oh, you don't want to? Okay. As a guy, he probably knew about female nature and like, okay, they like to get wined and dined and whatever. Uh, and then he wanted to get with me on the first night. Well, yeah, th has that not happened to you before? That's just what dudes are like dogs. They just want to bark. That's just what they do. We don't have the guy's side of the story, so it's Uh huh. That could be complete cap, too. Never paid for something the other man got for free, ever. He paid for everything, but when I told him he ain't getting any, he stopped pretending to be interested in my boring conversation. Well, I guess she said I don't do it on the first day, so it's not like saying like she, he's never going to get it. She didn't have to make a TikTok nah. just because of the first date. Y'all could have just went on another date. I was going to say, well, then just go on another date then. Text him to make sure you guys are still cool and be like, hey, I understand that's what you wanted to do right now. You literally said he's perfect. Go tell him that. Yeah, you're don't perfect. Don't tell us that. And then you just, if I'm the guy and I saw that, oh, I don't want to go on another date. Yeah. Now. Are you just trying to hook up or do you want to like try to build a relationship? Yeah. Communicate a little bit. Because I had 
relationships in the past that didn't work out, so I just want to take this one slow. Okay, me. I can understand that. Because you took me out to this nice place, so do you see me as somebody you want to keep going around with? Don't just blast him like. If a girl is truly interested, you don't have to take her anywhere to do anything for her. If she requests that you wine and dine her, just cut her loose and save yourself the trouble. That's also a fact. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. She doesn't do hookups on the first date anymore. Exactly. Someone got it for free before, and somehow now she has standards. And men know this uncomfortable truth. That's why coffee dates exist. Eliminates the foodies from the get-go. It's getting tough out here. If a girl was like, you need to take me to a nice spot. Never mind. I don't need a TikTok being made about. Yeah. Uh, I've been told this too. One of the best strategies for dating is unless someone is like complying with you enthusiastically um, and reciprocating your energy with enthusiasm, then don't even try to do it. Some people can't recognize that. No, no, no. no. There's girls that know that they're they're out of these men's league, whatever, in their perception. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they know they get the meal ticket and the guy thinks he about to, <laughs> and then it's boom. You see that. But that's often. never wrong. Yeah, true. Using him for the meal ticket, whatever. He was perfect. Clearly he wasn't. Clearly he wasn't. It's not the concept of, since he paid for her dinner, that means he has to, he, he's entitled to sex with her. Not at all, not in the slightest. To be fair, he spends his hard earned money, time, energy, thoughts to try to woo her over. Because he really liked her. Because he really liked her. And then now she changes the, the rules of the game. So he said, oh, I'm done with it, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, have a good night. Because again, you know that men want sex. Sorry, someone had to say it. Um, He didn't do it so that they could play patty cake or they could play connect mm -hmm. four. I think they both could have went about it a different way too. Like he probably could have been a bit nicer during the conversations and just kind mm -hmm. of wrap up the dinner. Mm -hmm. Maybe she didn't have to blast him and look at it so negatively and be like, hey, maybe I can try out another date and like, get to know him. If he really wanted it, maybe he could, like he could have, okay, cool, well, have a good day. And let it slide and then maybe if they rekindled later. Dating is uh, ruined. And we got 4,000 dating coaches it's apparently. DM TikTok yeah. now. Just listen to Strawberry Park. We're dating experts. I'll put in my bio. Whatever you put in your bio is just what it is. See you later.